Hello, my fellow researchers. Today, we are starting a new web series about the books that we have in the archive. Most of the books deal with family genealogies, although we do have local histories as well as histories of organizations. The idea is to let you know the books that we have, that they are out there, that they exist, that they are somewhere. Some of them you may be able to find digital copies of online. Some you might be able to find on a website for sale that you'll be able to buy and put into your own personal library collection on your family. Either way, we hope that it is informative and we hope that it helps you in some way in your genealogical research. Well, noting that most of the books that we have are old, that means some date back to, you know, the 1800s, late 1800s, middle to late 1800s. And some of the information might be correct, it might be incorrect, it might be missing something, new things might have been discovered since then, or it might be full of information that was known then and forgotten about 150 years later, 100 years later. So, either way, it's for informational purposes. Just to know these books are out there, that they exist, and it might be worth tracking down, especially if you are up against a brick wall might give you some information that you just cannot find for whatever reason anywhere else. The books we're going to talk about today, we have about 35 of them at the archive. They are these small paperback books and there's one for each family. Originally done in the 1920s by the American Historical Genealogical Society by J. Montgomery Seaver, who put his picture in the book. doing all this work, I guess, why not? They are great little books. They have a lot of information. Like I said, hopefully it's still good. Hopefully it's still great information. It might not be. Didn't go through every book to find out. Just letting you know that these books exist. So they all start with this battle hymn of, this battle hymn of whatever family. And it just talks about different parts of the family and some of the things that they were involved in in the history and it just gives a nice little song about your family. So if you're doing a family reunion, it might be fun. Have to sing along to everyone sing the battle hymn of your family that are found in these books that were written for this purpose. Then we go into our introduction about the family. The introduction is great because it has some information about the derivative of the name, like where it began, the first time they found it, who started it, all those kind of details that may or may not be known. Then it talks about the coat of arms. Coat of arms goes back and forth. You know, it's supposed to be for the family, that person, that particular person who used it, but now they have coat of arms for a lot of different families and they all need different things to represent things. I was at a place yesterday that offered coat of arms uh, for sale. You go through the book, you find your name, they put it up on the computer, they tell you what the picture is, they tell you the history of the family. So just for fun, I um, asked to see the history of the family and it's not bad, not bad. They got a lot of the details. Um, I was laughing because one of the main places was <laughs> so, um, and I told the girl that I said that is not Not a W, it's an M. And um, she didn't argue with me. I was ready to tell her I'd, I'd been there. So no, the name of the place. But So mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. Misprints happen. Misspellings happen. Somebody else who's not me, who read that, might think that's the way it is and be all confused and they can't find that location. But this is what we do. We find, we search out, we research, we learn. We learn what's right, what's wrong, what's a mistake, what's incorrect, what's good. And we hope that we have a little bit of fun in doing it. The idea of this web series is just to be informative. This book is here. It exists. It was written. It's a, it might be about your family. It might be about a client's family. It might be about somebody else's family, a friend's family that you're researching. So I want you know that they're here. Look for them. Maybe you'll find them for sale online, maybe you'll find them at a library, maybe you'll find them in another archive, maybe you'll find a digital copy. I don't I don't know. All I know is that we have a copy of them in our collection and we use them at times when they need to be used. But they sit on a shelf most of the time. 
So the idea of this web series and all the things that we will be doing, the website we have, putting the pictures up, the videos, everything that we're going to be putting out, the idea is that this stuff doesn't collect dust. It's not sitting there collecting dust on the shelf. No. We are using it and we are sharing it and we are putting it out there and we are letting you know that it exists. And we hope, we hope that it helps you on your genealogical research. If it doesn't, well, I'm sorry, but we hope that it does. These books were collected by my great aunt. She worked as a genealogist back in the, I don't know, 70s, 80s. His letters from people asking questions and her replies to them about their family. So she had a collection of books and that's what she used because we are talking about the days before the internet and she spent a lot of time getting dusty and going into the archives and finding books and tracking things down and she would go to yard sales and estate sales and any other sales that she could find and she would buy these books. So the majority of the books that we have were hers and they have been sitting since she collected them and now I am taking them and putting them on the internet because quite honestly, I think if she was around today, she would have loved the internet and she would have loved all the archives. And I think that her and I would have spent hours and hours and hours going through and doing research and me showing her how to use a computer. And I think it would have been her, so we could be doing some videos. <laughs> so here we are talking about the books that she collected, bringing them to light, bringing them back to you and hopefully if we can help you. So the families that we have books for are the Allen family, the Baker family, the Bell family, the Brooks family, the Burns family, the Campbell family, the Chase family, the Cook family, the Davis family, the Evans family, Ford family, Fleming family, the Gordon family, the Harris family, the Henderson family, the Henry family, the Hugh family, the Hunt family, Jacksons, Jenkins, Kennedy, Lee, Long, MacDonald, Mitchell, Moore, Morris, Nelson, Reed, Reynolds, Roberts, Rogers, Stewart, Stone, Thomas, and Young. And they are all pretty much set up the same way done by the ones I have are done by the same gentleman and they have the battle of him and then they go into the introduction and then they go into the ancients of the family and then they go into the genealogy of the family so we hope that these help you we hope um, that you can find a copy to add to your family collection if you need more information about something that's in the book text, an email, a comment, like and share videos, share your other families. Um, but we hope that these help you. And who knows, maybe it has information there, the brick wall, that you can get rid of. So, have a great day. Happy searching. Enjoy the journey.